Hello bees bladers, welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a couple new Civivis. We're gonna do a quick dive, a quick unboxing of these bad boys. And as always, in the video's description and in the comment section, I always have discount codes, promo codes. I have sharpening supplies, maintenance gear, EDC gear. I have links to everything you can imagine down there. So anything you see in the videos, it'll be linked. It'll take you right through it. There's some affiliate codes down there, affiliate links. You can go through them if you want to support the channel. If you don't, you don't have to, but I always appreciate it if you do. Now, yes, oh, one of these, I don't know which one it is because I didn't look at the box. <laughs> But we're gonna get in here and start this right now. I hope you're having a fantastic day because I am, you know I am, I'm excited. Let's see, this one's heavier. Let's go with this one. I have the feeling that this one, yes, I think <laughs> I think I know which one this is. Um, it comes with all the regular accoutrement, all kinds of goodies and stickers and, and that kind of stuff from Civivi. By the way, they do have a very good uh, warranty or guarantee department here in the United States, if you're watching from the United States and you get a nice pouch with every knife, but are you ready for this well uh, let's see <laughs> okay here we go here it is this is the Savivi emirate would you look at it just look at it and ooh, yes i love the texture you know what we're going straight to it a little bit of texture vision for you check out that g10 Ooh, yeah i'm digging it it feels very i'm okay whatever they call this pattern this is fantastic it has such good grip it's like soft grip it's not aggressive but it's like you know if your hands are wet or slickery you're not going to drop the knife that is very cool so i can see right here that we have a deep carry reversible pocket clip and it's inset into the into the scales major major plus Ooh, nice strong clip it has the perfect amount of room it's not going straight up so it's not going to stick in your hand but there is room to get this in and out of jeans which i always appreciate very much this bad boy is a button lock and the button is level with the scales it's not sticking up it's not sticking out and yes as always savivi always nails perfect jimps perfect jimps on that flipper now are you ready to see this blade Oh, right in the kisser. Oh, Mama Sita. Look at that. Now that is a chonker. That is a lot of Nitro V steel, baby. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A sax blade. Would you call that a sax style blade? I know a lot of people call that a reverse tanto or reverse tanto, but you know, I think technically that might be considered a sax blade. But then again, when you get into the shape blade shapes, it's all kind of relative. It's like, this is the shape of it. <laughs> you could call it whatever you want. We have a giant choil up here so there's plenty of room to choke up this is a captive pivot it has cage ceramic ball bearings and let's take a look on the inside there's a bunch of weight reduction going on in there and what you see is what you get and what do we have t8 body screws along with the t8 pivot screws so that is a major plus this knife from tip to tip is 8.41 inches. It has a 3.48 inch blade. Yeah, almost three and a half inches. Hey, you know, that's adequate. <laughs> well, let's not go there. So up and down, left and right, it's absolutely solid. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm liking it. Did you see that blade retention? The blade did not bounce out. So we're off to a great start and it is centered. Ooh, yeah, so, oh yeah, thumb studs. Okay, we gotta, all right, listen. <laughs> We're already way ahead of the game in the action, but oh my gosh. Yes. I'm not getting bounce out. It's a button lock with good blade retention. All right, before I get too off kilter, oh yeah, we can also reverse flick it. Let's do this. I want to tell you something before I forget. Look at this. Have you ever seen this Wii knife roll? They are giving these away free. Yeah, you hurt me. It holds 10 knives and it holds the big ones. You can put small ones or big ones in this knife roll. It's pretty sweet. What this knife roll is all about is they're giving it away from November 8th until December 8th. Uh, 18th, they're having their holiday sale. You know when we and Civivi and Sincut do their holiday sales, they're freaking awesome. And during that time, the, I mean, this is when everybody goes nuts and gets them. And I wanted to get a weight on this knife, but I almost forgot to tell you about the sale that's getting ready to start or has started, depending on when you're watching this video. But you're gonna get stuff 25% off and anything, if you buy from any major retailer, knife retailer, or from we or Civivi or Sincut, you're gonna get 
big discounts and you're going to get one of those free knife rolls. You're, they do not, you don't get the knife roll on Amazon, but any of those other places that are participating, you will get one of those knife rolls. So this bad boy comes in at 4.63 ounces, which is very impressive because it is not a small knife, but for the size of it, I'm impressed that it's coming in at the four and a half ounce mark. Now this is what I know that I'm gonna add, be asked for some size comparisons, and of course, every Friday night, Bees Blades live at the Hive. Oh, right, you don't wanna miss it. If you're subscribed and you hit the little bell button, by the way, subscribing to a YouTube channel is free. Some people, I was just told by someone the other day, they thought that it cost money. No, that just tells YouTube that you like that content and you would like to see it pop up in your feed more. How about that? But if you're subscribed and you hit the bell button, you'll be notified a half an hour before the live streams. And just so you know, we do give away a lot of knives during the live streams and you'll find out you like it and it's fun. So this is a paramilitary too, Spyderco. And this is the QSP Penguin. This is a big boy. And I have a couple more here. This is the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock. We are at a slight angle here. Let me bring it down here for you. Look at that. So this is a full-size knife. And, and, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Here's a Spyderco Tenacious. Okay, we're getting closer. The Tenacious is still smaller than the Amorite. Now here's one that I know folks are gonna wanna see comparisons of, especially, we'll do, we have the knife cam on the live stream. If you have questions, that is the time to come and hang out and ask questions. And we'll do knife size comparisons and all kinds of fun stuff. This is the Kaiser regular full-size Sheepdog. This is bigger than the Sheepdog. The fit and finish are very nice on this knife. Let's check out the ergos. My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter, and let's see how she feels. Oh yeah, feels good. If it, I have no hot spots at all. Giving it the bee squeeze, no issues with that. And ooh, really nice jimping, very nice jimp jimps up here. Dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig. I wish they went out a little bit further, but I say that about most of the knives. Um, it does help with the grip. Now, how about this? Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. You can really choke in to do some cuts. You're gonna be able to do your draw cuts. Ooh, I love this style blade. You know, um, the majority of stuff that we cut, you, in, you end up needing that point to get in and cut open packages. And this one is, it has pretty darn good, pretty darn good blade geometry. Comes back, it's not thick behind the edge, and it's a tall, flat grind. The taller that flat is, the more time you have for and more space for that blade to get thinner and thinner behind the edge. I am digging it. And here's a look at your tip. You gotta have a nice tip, right? So that is that is comfortable. That is comfortable, choking up, and look at this, you have all kinds of room, so extra large hands, you have room, so I love it. So I have no complaints. The action, the ergos, this is a complete win. You have Nitro V blade steel, it's a nice large size knife, and to get a button lock that has this good of action and that good of blade retention, I am totally digging it. You have plenty of room for the reverse grip. You have room to get your middle finger back there if that's your pleasure, or you can just open it with the button lock. So that is very nice. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. And by process of elimination, I know <laughs> I know what this one is, at least uh, unless they sent me something I wasn't expecting. Same nice pouch and all the accoutrement that comes with it. Oh yeah, here we go. Now this one, ooh, ooh, okay, this is the Civivi Elementum button lock. The Elementum 2 button lock, and this has the textured Altum scales. Let's see if I can get you in there and show you a little bit of that texture. Check it out. I like the feel of it. You're gonna like the way it feels. You have a nice lanyard hole back here. Is this, uh, it's not reversible. The Elementum is not a reversible pocket clip. I'm not sure why they can't add that in there. That would be a really nice touch. I would love to be able to carry this in my left pocket. It is a button lock, and if you look right here, the button, is flush with the scales. And these are the Altum scales that are very heat resistant. Uh, from everything I know, they're supposed to be even stronger than G10, which is what most of the budget line knives come in. And let's take it out. Pow, right in the kisser. And look at this. Ooh yeah, check that out. Nice hollow ground blade. And you know what? Let me put the other one that I had out just a second ago next to it. And by the way, this is Nitro V blade steel, baby. Here is another version or another option, a configuration. This is G10. You can get different colors of G10. You can get the black stone wash. This one here is gonna be a satin. So if you wondered what the inside of your Civivi Elementum 2 button lock look like, well, there you go. There's no question as to the fact that it is made very lightweight by a lot of milling on the liners. Look at that. You can look 
and see if you have too much gunk in there and if you need to take it apart and clean it out. And I do have an entire disassembly playlist. If you want to go and see how to disassemble knives, I have button locks in there. I have all different styles of knives and how to clean them, how to disassemble them. But this, this is a fantastic knife. It is seven inches overall. It has a 2.9 inch blade. And these, let me show you, let me, let me just show you. These are not heavy knives. They're, they're, they're like, uh, they're one that you want setting next to your keys and you throw in your pocket every time you head out the door. It's that size knife. It comes in at 2.8, 2.88 ounces. So 2.9 ounces. It's less, less than three ounces. The blade is 2.9 inches. So less than three inches, less than three ounces. The ergonomics are very comfortable. You can kind of do a small choke up right here on this forward section. It's a great cutter. It's a great everyday carry. Now I used to like the Civivi Elementum. Me personally, I prefer the Elementum 2 button lock. It is that much better. It has good blade retention. It doesn't bounce out when I shut it. This is a fantastic knife. I don't have anything bad to say about it. Not that I look for bad things to say about knives, but I do point out when I find things that I don't enjoy. So here, is the Civivi Amorite in all of its glory right next to the new Civivi Button Lock Elementum 2 Button Lock with the Altum Scales. Very, very nice. Now don't forget, I'll have links where you can go check out that sale. The sale is coming up. That's when everyone goes nuts. And I'll have links to these knives and all that good stuff. I hope to see you Friday night at the, at the Hive stream. But until then, go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And I'll see you in the chats and the live streams and the comments of this video and right after you hit the thumbs up button. Remember, Live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.